today i like to explain you about stern tube pump where i'll be changing the mechanical seal this pump is a gear driven in this picture you can see i have put off the power and put the warning notice here so we will be opening the stern tube pump uh, i have isolated the motor part here this is the pump we got two pumps one in standby so we are going to change the mechanical seal for this pump so i have removed the pump part and draining the oil you can see this there's a coupling here so i have drained the oil so this then i will be opening the cover to change the mechanical seal this is the coupling once you open the coupling you have the key and the clip you can remove them this i have dismantled it you can see the bearing you can change the bearing here uh this is the direction shown here this is the new bearing you can change i am removing the mechanical seal here so i am measuring the distance you can see this digital vernier you can see the distance measured you can see the vernier this is the latest vernier we have this is the digital type you can see the reading straight away so we are measuring the distance from the top so when you are changing the mechanical seal we will be measuring the distance so this is very important so you fix the mechanical seal there is a allen screw there you can check that then remove the allen screw if the the old mechanical seal come out if the bearing is owned out you can change the bearing also so you change with a new mechanical seal uh, this is the end cover i am opening you can see the end cover once you open you have the uh, uh, relief hype this is the relief valve type spring activated so this will be pressed against the space there you can adjust the pressure this uh, pump is adjusted for 4.5 bar once you open the end cover you can use an allen key to increase the pressure or decrease the pressure this is the end cover here uh, you can see this uh, this is the uh, gear driven i told you you can see the gear movement you can see here there are two gears the center one is the driven one so that is the driving piece and we have two gears you can see here so how to insert them i have taken it out to show you and once you rotate it goes inside this is how it is uh, this is the uh, pressure regulating i have removed the cover here with an allen key you increase the pressure if you want i can increase up to 4.5 bar here in this pump So if you want to decrease, you can decrease this. This one actually goes and sits on the surface there. So this is the section side, and the discharge si side will be on the other side where it will push the spring. So you can see this. So once you are uh, changing the mechanical seal, you can box back the end cover. Once the end box back the end cover, you can. Uh, this is the mechanical seal. One part I am putting the new one. you can see it should seat there is a seat here this is a st spring type you have a spring to push the mechanical seal the surface this surface is very important do not damage surface the other surface is on the top of this both the surface should be perfect and it should not get damaged while assembling so be careful about it so you can see the surface here very nicely so now i am assembling the top cover once you assemble the top cover make sure that the sealing arrangement is okay there is a seal that should not get damaged so once you put that then you can assemble it if you have any doubt regarding that you can let me know once you assemble it and start running the pump if there is a leakage this is the tell tale hole here if the mechanical seal is leaking you will you can the oil will leak from here so in this pump most important thing what you have to see is make sure that the mechanical seal is in correct position and the seals are in place if you have any doubt regarding the working of the gear pump let me know thank you